unboxing this was supposed to be just like a little separate part of a different video, but I've completely changed my mind now. This unboxing is gonna be its own video. <laughs> so I'm gonna re-record an intro. This is so cool. Welcome back to my channel. Today was supposed to be a different video, but then I surprise received a PR package that I forgot that I was getting, and I decided that I'm going to unbox it on screen here. I've already unboxed half of it, and it was just supposed to be a sort of like end cap to a different video I was filming, but y'all, this was such a fun unboxing that I'm making it its whole own video, plus another surprise unboxing afterwards of something else. Before we get started, you can see why I'm so darn excited. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos, I upload three days a week. A few weeks ago, I was reached out to by Campfire Publishing to see if I wanted to receive a signed hardcover of one of the new books they have coming out called The Never Ending End of the World by Anne Christie. And I, of course, said yes. One, you know I love free things, but two, it's also a speculative sci-fi fiction. I can't speak today. Speculative sci-fi fiction. Say that 10 times fast. Anyways, I'll show you the book once I open the package. I'm assuming it's in there, but it's been described to me as Station Eleven meets The Last of Us, and I may not have loved Station Eleven, but I do love The Last of Us. And then after reading the description, I'd like to throw in my own sort of comparison and say it's got kind of an Edge of Tomorrow sort of vibe. So, yeah. It came all the way from Tennessee. There's no way to show you the package without just revealing my address. So I've opened the top and I'm just gonna pull things out of it. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Ow, I just got a paper cut. Uh -huh. It's a book wrapped in a tote bag. Here's the book. Ooh, my ring light is reflecting. The Never Ending End of the World by Anne Christie. It's got a quote on the back from Daniel Green. He says, it's a beautiful journey that will leave readers with tears in their eyes and a new fear of time itself. This is the tote bag. It's got the logo for the book silk screened on the front. I love a good tote bag. The tote bag is full of thingies, but there's also something inside the book. Ooh, letters. There's an envelope letter and then a tied up letter. Let's start with envelope letter. That's cute. It says, thanks for reading. I hope you enjoy the story. And a magnet. Let's just put that right there for now. And then we've got this bad boy. Oh my God, so much strength. It's a typed up letter. Ooh, with a thing inside. What's the thing? I don't know what it is, but it's a numbered art print. I have number 29. Okay, this is so cool. So this, I'm reading in this letter, is a numbered piece of a painting. So everyone who received these ARC copies received a piece of a painting? And it's up to me, apparently, but I have to share it back to them which piece I received and the number. And closer to the launch date of the book, they will share every piece that they, you know, heard back about and it should reveal a secret story in a painting. She also notes that it's purposely been left unsealed because it can be damaged and that's part of the story. So I'm going to treat it very carefully. <laughs> There's definitely some smudging on the back and I'm stressed. Okay, I'm just gonna read out the letter because I think it's important and it's long. <laughs> so here we go. The letter is titled Fragile. Peace and harmony are fragile things, easily broken and difficult to rebuild without scars. When we're alone, we can achieve those states with a consensus of just one. We can enjoy it, become accustomed to it, begin to think of it as easy. Not many of us can spend our lives entirely alone, however. As soon as one other person must be accounted for, peace and harmony become a negotiation, it's, it's a little smudge. It takes only one person to break peace. Add in a world full of people and true peace becomes a Herculean effort that humanity has never managed to pull off. Not even for one moment, not entirely anyway, but we still have hope, a resilient and ever renewing superpower. And that allows us to keep on trying. We haven't failed in our efforts to achieve genuine harmony. There are moments, however fleeting, when it feels like the world is moving as one. The people we see mirroring our expressions and a feeling of community so strong it seems almost magical. That's progress, 
and our hope allows us to keep reaching for our, for the dream. My book is about hope, even though it seems like it's about the end of the world. I like that superpower of ours. Enclosed is something fragile, though not as delicate as world peace. You've received a numbered piece of a painting. It's a mixed media piece in watercolor and acrylic ink, and it has been purposefully left unsealed. It can be damaged or rubbed away. A single drop of water would mar it. The number on the back is the key to its location within the painting. As we get closer to the book's launch, there will be a story that can only be unlocked by all the keys. No one will get to read it unless all the keys are shown. You will be the ultimate decider. It will take only one person to eliminate the story from the world forever. Only by working together will you gift the story to everyone who wants it. So cool. Of course, the work required is much easier than global harmony. I'm not a trained artist, just a hobby painter who paints to get out all the emotions of writing without using words. It could just be really bad art. I'll leave it to you to judge that. Until next time, Anne Christie. Guys, this was so much cooler than I expected. I accept arcs and review copies of things all the time, but never ever have I felt this personally immersed in something I've received. This is so fun. So I've shown my piece of art, number 29, on screen here. I'm definitely gonna upload it to Instagram and I'm gonna send it to the publishing company as well because I wanna be part of this. I really hope that everyone else who received these is going to follow through with this, because this is so cool. <laughs> I have to do a whole new intro now because I'm changing the video mid-video to something else. It's, I'll do the other thing later. Okay, 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 so I've got the book, I've got the letter, and by letter I mean the long letter that I just read out. I've got the numbered art piece, number 29. I've got the signed postcard that said she hopes I enjoy it. Oh, and magnet. I forgot, I put the magnet here. I showed that tote bag. They're stuck in the tote bag. Ooh, ooh, okay. So, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, I need to get this to focus. So I hope that this will stay focused, but it's, this is a bookmark. Uh, it's a style of bookmark I've always wanted, actually. And this is a little mini version of the book. How cute is that? With a little heart key on the end. I don't know if that means something, but I like it. Got a little dog tag keychain here. Can you see it? No, stop focusing on my face. Dog tag keychain. This is like an acrylic keychain in a baggie. Why was that one in a bag, but the other one wasn't? Chain. It's got her website on the back. There's more! A bracelet? I believe this is a bracelet. This is so cute! Okay, so this, <laughs> this is like a little friendship bracelet. Again, with a mini version of the book stitched into it. Oh my goodness. How do I wear? How do I wear? Bear with me while I film for 15 minutes me trying to put this onto my own wrist. <laughs> I can't do it. I did it. That's dope. <laughs> okay, so I've got a bracelet with the book on it now. It fits me perfectly. Did they sneak into my house at night and measure my wrist? Oh, and I should show you the signature because it's signed. Look, she said, happy reading. And Christy. The naked hardback is just the hardback. Just the dust jacket. That's actually awesome. I might shelve this just without the dust jacket at all. Why did they do it like that, I wonder? I'm not mad. But here you go. It's exactly the same as the dust jacket. The Never Ending End of the World by best-selling author Anne Christie releases on August 8th this year, 2023. Speculative sci-fi dystopian apocalypse and scientific mystery coalesce into ne the never ending end of the world. A gripping tale of survival, hope, and love from, I forgot to mention, she's a retired naval officer. This lady is so cool. Okie doke. That's all I'm gonna say about the never ending end of the world. Thank you so much Campfire Publishing for sending me this amazing PR package. I'm gonna wear this bracelet for the rest of my life. I don't wanna downplay the other unboxing I'm gonna do, but it just doesn't feel as exciting now that I've done that one. Um, but my, my book of the month box arrived today as well, so I'm gonna open it for you. <laughs> For the first time in a while, I was pleased with the month selections. This is obviously the June box because it's June. New TikTok challenge. Blind yourself with scissors. Safety second. Book the month recently updated uh, part of how they work. I don't really know how to word this other than you can now get up to five books in a box at once. I did not get five because I 
have a little bit of restraint, but I did get three. The book that I chose from this month's actual picks was, of course, Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Torse. Torch. I don't know how to say the last name. I apologize. I should have looked it up before filming, but I did not because I forgot. This is a new adult fantasy out from HarperCollins. The cover itself is exactly the same in the paperback that's been released by HarperCollins. Ooh, I'm a fan of what's underneath. The other two books that I got from Book of the Month are both horror. Before we get to these, you can just see it there. I'm holding my hand. But Book of the Month always sends a little bookmark cue card situation with theirs and they usually say something on them. I love this one. Respectfully, leave me alone. This is my favorite one I've gotten. Thank you, Book of the Month. I've covered it, box dust. I got Lone Women by Victor Laval and The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas. The Hacienda is a gothic thriller in the same sort of vein as Mexican Gothic and The Piñata, so I'm very excited. And I don't know much about Lone Women, but Victor Laval also wrote The Ballad of Black Tom, which was a phenomenal novella. I'll talk about that one more at some point else, I think. These were no-brainers for add-ons to this month's box. And that's it. That's everything I have to unbox right now. This is so much more fun than I was expecting. Like I said, I was planning to film an entirely different video today. I'm even wearing specific clothes for that video, but then all this stuff arrived and I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> now that I know about this whole little numbered secret painting thing, definitely keep an eye on my Instagram or my social media because I'm going to talk about it more. I want to know what the secret is. Not sponsored, but thank you to Book of the Month for sending me books every month. I love you. And an actual thank you to Campfire Publishing for reaching out to me and sending me a copy of The Never Ending End of the World. It sounds really cool and the package that they put together was really incredible. That magnet is staying there. This bracelet is staying here. I'm gonna be using that bookmark. Those keychains going on my keys. Tote bag, gonna tote. Thank you for staying with me throughout this chaotic video. Before I go, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell icon so you know when I upload new videos, I upload three days a week. I love you guys, goodbye.